What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mr. Leva, and welcome back to Beholder 2. Now, when we last left off, we were messing with Peter Dong. And now we have to play on his fear. We sent the email out to that one girl, and we gave him laxatives instead of helping cure his headache, which he said cured his headache in a different sense. In a sense that he wasn't all too proud about. <laughs> But it did get cured, so that's all that matters. Uh, we need to get the biometric group safe from the dude that's wanting us to actually pull the pranks. So, all is good and going. Maybe we should say hello to the guard. It's a pity my vacation isn't coming up soon. We've talked to him before, so... Let's see if there's anything good in the lost and found today. Nothing in the lost and found. Okay. Hello? Okay, so there are cameras also. Okay, Comrade Ferguson? Who's Ferguson? I am unaware of who Comrade Ferguson is. Let's get this cord down so it's not wrapped around. Oh, you sent for me, Comrade Ferguson. Who is it? Redgrave, you expect me to sit on my ass waiting all day? What took you so damn long? I was, did I say you could speak? Shut the hell, shut up and listen. I agreed to take you on board here because your father trusted me and asked me to help you out. Now it's time to return the favor, get the picture. I really don't understand what you're, I'm sure you don't. Your father was the sharp one. I see the apple of intelligence fell far from the tree in your case. So here's the short version, you owe me. How much? Huh? You catch on quick, you owe me for life. But to start, I want you to pretend to be a visitor to the ministry. One of those bastards sitting in the hall has been stealing my money, do you see? Not really. Are you a complete idiot? I'm saying that one of those pricks in the hall is pocketing the money that visitors give. You don't know that all bribes have to be given over into the government revenue, don't you? Of course. And, and in your case, the government is me. And some rat is stealing from me. Our blockheaded security guards can't catch him, so I've come up with an ingenious operation that I call the Secret Visitor. You've got a forgettable face, so you can pass for a common visitor. I want you to give him an envelope and see if he gives me the money. Agree. Understood, Comrade Ferguson. Is that all? Do you really need to get all that on your first try? Get the fake money from my courier. There... Be, there'll be a guard waiting for you by the vending machine. He'll fill you in on the rest. Report back to me as soon as you're done. I don't want to see you otherwise. Do you understand, Red Grave? I've never been to this dude's office. Ooh, a safe that we can later interact with. Interesting. Ah! That's where Magda is. Gotcha. There's cop there. How do you like the weather? I mean, I agree with that. That weather is, you know, astrology is just a bullcrap way of saying we think this was going to happen. I mean, that's true. That's about our job. Work is not meant to be like it's meant to be done. But still, I am Mr. Ferguson's secretary. I hope you don't have to explain to you what this position entails. I get to decide whether you leave by yourself or you're dragged away by the security for distracting people from the work. <laughs> Mr. Ferguson must be a strict boss. I do not discuss the management with the employees. Magna, do you have a family? Young man, do you think that's any... I think that's anybody. I was just trying to be polite. Politeness is just a well-organized indifference. Keep it up and, it, and everyone will hate you. I like her. She might be a turd, but she's right about a lot of things. There are plenty of times that someone's like, Well, I was just trying to be nice, and I was like, I don't care. <laughs> like, leave me alone, please. Okay, what's his fear? Ah... Uh, I want to know what homeboy's fear is. Can I talk to you, Nicholas? Trade. Foreign currency has $999 worth of foreign currency. Well, that wasn't very useful, was it? Peter Dong, what is your fear? Peter, I want to talk about Hazer. This is a... There is no me in Hazer, and it's none of your business anyway. 
They can capture football. You sent your love letter to everyone, Peter. Now they know, I all know. But it wasn't me. Though, what difference does it make? Mommy's going to kill me. What do you mean? You're right, Evan. I'm worthless, pathetic, pathetic nerd. I didn't say anything like that. You don't have to. I already know it. I fell in love with Emma like a fool the moment I set eyes on her. And I've suffered ever since. You know, we live in a country partial to suffering. There's nothing to be ashamed of. She is really a nice girl, and I think you two would be make a great couple. I really think so. Of course... Have you seen how pretty she is? Like a cover girl from Young Patriots. And me, I'm... How could I walk up to her and help with Emma? I won't deny it, Peter. We're not exactly the macho bad boy type that all girls love. But there are a lot of other positive qualities that we would appreciate. You're an all-around good guy, so you just need to play your strengths. You're hardworking, you don't drink, you have prospects, and you don't want look at all like someone who would hurt a girl's feelings. So what do I do? Where do I start? Ask her on a date, but not to a restaurant or club. Take her to a theater or an exhibition. I'll show her. It'll show her how serious you are about her. A date? Are you n n n n n Then start with some flowers. Do you know what kind she likes? I actually found a page from a flower magazine in a trash can recently. It had red and white roses, violets, violet violets, and red poppies, yellow tulips, and white feather grass on it. You bet, mommy says it's phenomenal. I know all the leader's speeches by heart. You'd better be off remembering what kind of flowers the girl your dreams like. Okay, I'll try to find out myself. Oh, Evan, that would be wonderful. What do you want? End conversation. Okay, I mean, we're not. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do this first. They seem more important than helping our douchebag boss. Why did everything just kind of like turn blue? I don't know if that's happening on my screen or if it's happening with the recording. Here we go. Hello, Emma Hey is there. Talk. Talk about flowers. Talk about flowers. What kind of flowers do you like? All kinds, except poppies. I'm allergic to them. Talk about colors. Which favorite color? Red, of course. Everyone loves red. It's bright, like the ministry's banner. Have a nice day. Simple. Straight to the point. His fear? Is this where I should dick him over? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna go do it right now? No, I don't think he's doing it right now. Okay. I think that's how we have to play off Peter Dong's fear, and I hate having to do that, but... Come out, Ferguson sent me. You, the one I gotta get into the line, confirm. Yes. You bring your package. Whoops. We'll get to it quick before the day is over. What are you guys talking about, real quick? The boss announced today that he has to cut our salaries to reduce spending. What about his salary? Well, he bought himself a gold watch yesterday to see how, who comes late for work. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, so where's the package for... Where's the package for... The money? I thought he was supposed to have the package of money. Right? What do those little hearts next to him mean? Uh, does that mean he likes me? Or something? Or do, is that me liking them? Okay, anyway, I need to have some stuff I can turn in. Get myself some more respect. Um. Hmm. Where do I get the money from? Oh, that just turns them all in. I don't have to turn them in separately. That's that's convenient. 
Someone was supposed to give me fake money, right? How do I look that up? Secret visitor. Take money from the courier. Where is the courier? Does it say? Person has ordered you to take part in, in his business. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no. All right, then. Where is the courier? You're not the courier, are you? You're just... God damn it, he is. But he'll kind of fit money. Take this pen and sign the receipt for him, okay? And the warehouse bill, okay? And the extra prevention training loan, but there was no training. You're not getting anything until you sign it. I see. I now have foreign currency, or fake currency. Let's go do this. Yeah, now I need to talk to you. Confirm. This is fun. I'm in a real hurry. Could you please let me cut in? If I let you ahead of me, I won't live to see next spring. Why? Can't you see? I'm 30 kilos underweight here. Look at my papers. If they don't give me some voucher for a high-calorie diet soon, they'll be receiving a complaint from a very unsatisfied pile of bones. Show me your papers. Maybe I can help. Yes, of course. Here, look. I'm in a really hurry. Can I please let you cut ahead? Go ahead. Go and steal something. What? I said I'm not giving you any money, so go and steal something, beggar. Bribe him. I already have. Do you want me to share? Now you're talking. Worth it. I have bills to pay, though. I'm in a really hurry. Could you please let me cut in? And why should I let you through? Because people should help each other. Because what kind of people, I wonder? What do you mean by help? We're all citizens of the same country. We live under the same sky, breathe the same air. And that's why you think I owe you something? No, mister. I'm not agreeing with that. Dang it! Oh, deal. No need to be rude, young man. Why do you say I'm rude? You guys tell me you want to cut in line even though you're a fragile and defenseless girl right in front of you. What happened to all the good men? I'm sorry, it's just when I stand behind you, I'm so overcome by what I see in front of me, I'm completely with my head. Unfortunately, I still need it for my meeting with my boss. You're a naughty one. Trying to flatter me like that, you're lucky I have some free time. I couldn't let you get into trouble because of me, could I? Yeah. 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 Young man, the fact that you're in a hurry is no reason to break with, with established order. But I'm in a real hurry. That just act emphasizes your lack of discipline. It looks like your supervisor from the Ministry of Labor isn't worth your their salt. We didn't tolerate that sort of thing back in my day. You're wrong. My supervisor is a wonderful person. He's just waiting for me to bring him some papers that he can file a report. That's why I'm in a hurry. Can I, I can't let him down. Why don't you just say so? Go ahead. I mean, not necessarily wrong. I am also in a hurry, but I'm really in a hurry. I have an urgent business too, but you don't see me trying to cut in line. Maybe we should toss a coin. Fine, why not? Leader. And damn, fine. Go ahead. Trains! Why? Why blast it for a full 30 seconds and then go again? I'm... Use fake name. Abraham Schnipperson. If you're a Schnipperson, I'm a ballerina in a patriotic theater, but in our ministry, who cares? Go on. Well, rec well recently, my much-loved grandma was sent to the blissful sleep, but the old hag hid some of her valuables in an armchair first. The chair was then requisitioned by the state service fund, and I really need to know where it is now. Can you help me? I have made it work. I can make it worth your while. What does make it worth your while? Mean? I'll give you a bribe. You guys take bribes, don't you? So I'll just bribe you. So with, that'll help me. I'm not... It's not a bribe, sir. It's a contribution to the ministry fund. Yeah, whatever. Here's some money. Money for you to take. How much is there? Enough to cover a couple weeks at a resort. Like Old Patriot? Better than that, I'm talking about way of the leader or even the central, if you can do without the fancy electrolysis stuff. Electrosalysis? Whatever that was. Whoa! That's what I'm saying. I'll leave this envelope here, alright? 
Come back tomorrow and I'll try to find something out. Say nothing and leave. Visitor in line. Hello, what can I do for you? You talk to me, thank you. The thing is, I can't get anyone to help me. My line over there isn't moving at all. I've been waiting a week now and haven't much moved an inch. How can I help? Just keep waiting, everyone else does. But look at it, really, the window's closed. I just can't keep standing there. Can you check the employee for that window? What if someone something happened to them? I you know I should go stand in a different line. Number 101, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, you're right, the window is closed. Weird. Weird. It's over this way, right? Does he have anything to say? Do you know anything about window 101? No. Do you know anything about window 101? Maybe, what exactly do you want to know? Do you know where I can find window 101? Go left, then after about 50 meters, take a look down in the corridor to your right. You should be able to find it there. Oh, it's letting me follow these little red footprints now? It's letting me go straight instead of turn. No, it isn't. Ah, oh, there we go. If I click on him, it will. Oh, he's dead. I checked at the booth. The customer was referring to and saw the person straight away. A dead employee isn't much to help anyone. Looks like he had a heart attack, but no one noticed. A heart attack, there's blood all over the table. An inconspicuous life and an inconspicuous death. I should tell security to let them deal with it. There was blood all over the table. How was that a heart attack? I earn no pain, no gain. All right, then. I'll wait one hour. I have the time. Am I in? God, it takes a whole fucking day just to talk to this dude. He isn't in. Ah. All right, I gotta get some work in though. I've got bills to pay. I gotta work. And also, I feel like nothing's really gonna happen till tomorrow, so. Gotta get some work in. You have forgotten me again. You waste your time on other men. You'll never find yourself a winner if you don't join me for dinner. Okay, out of vouchers. The voucher department reports that there are no more vouchers in the department. New voucher will arrive in the next quarter. Okay. We have 50 minutes. Hello, a vet as a veteran's widow, I'm entitled to housing benefits, but Victor Padabrink, in, in my, my building manager, says it doesn't count because I'm seeing another man. How is that fair? Is there anything you can do? Okay, so she's complaining about a certain dude. So it's a denification. And then this is about revealing violation of directive laws, spying, public order... Social care, control of life citizens from death to birth. Okay, I think it's the social care. Print. Yeah! Social care. If I print it right, I get money. I gotta do good. Got to do good. Limited money. Money. Hello, I heard I can sign up to obtain a special device that helps single ladies re relieve their feelings of loneliness. Is that true? Do I need to fill out any forms? Are you single? Are you? How about dinner? Who knows? Maybe I won't need that device after all. Sorry, but I'm on duty. Okay, so she's requesting something for herself. She's requesting something, right? 
Since it's not allowed to beat, kill, steal, or cause any kind of harm. Patronism. I think this is also of social care, isn't it? Right? Yeah, also social care, because she needs a vibrator. Where can I submit my statistical report on the age and marital status of a worker at coal mine number three? Uh, okay, uh, where can I submit my statistical report? Information, visitor, okay, so information, coal miner number three of labor. Print. Money! I need it. Getting better. I'm pretty sure someone's been following me. I don't even feel safe at home. Recently, I came home from work, and someone had gone through all my stuff. The burglar was so good, he managed to get in without anyone noticing. Even the building manager didn't see anything. Do something. Okay, so... Violation of law and norms behavior. The guilty party is general, collective, or institution, not an individual. Right, because... Visit reports an injustice violation. His or her rights of interest. A lot of norms of behavior. They also identify the culprit's names. Certain. The visitor wants his or her rights to receive benefits, information, resources. Okay, I think it's a complaint. Of order. Hey! I'm getting better at this. Hello, I have a complaint about the management of a f our factory. How come they won't let girls join the volunteer militias? The leader says women and, and girls must take the place of men who have gone to war, but why don't we see it in practice? The state doesn't have enough faith in us. If we can lay down the law in our own homes, we can do the same on the streets. Fair enough. So, filling out a complaint of... Is it labor? Yes! Awesome. Made 300 bucks. Well, we made 250, but we now have 300 bucks, so. Um. Have we done everything now? Tell the security about the dead employee. Uh, yeah, I need to talk to a security guard. They'd be all the way up at the front, right? Right? I've got good news and bad news. What she went for is bad. The employee from the window died from exhaustion at his desk a week ago. That's awful. What's good news? You're not free to stand in the front line. You know what? I think I'll just go home. I wanted to get a reward for turning in banned books, but I doubt it'll cover my expenses. You can take the books if you want. I'm not carrying it back home. Thanks. I know what to do with it. Won't it go off? New skill, water supply discount. What security guard would I inform? All, like, all the way down here, security guard? Like, all the way down here, security guard? Yeah, security guard. I mean, I passed up plenty of guards. Why what? Why is there a body? Why do, don't I know about it? I have no idea, but now you know. I'll handle it. Dismiss. Thank you for your service. That's it? Yep. Okay. They're all taken care of. I'm gonna go back. Hmm. I need to play on Dong's fear. What does it say about Dong's fear? Uh, I've got his weakness. I've got his passion. I need his fear. Right?
I tried to report to Fergus and he wasn't there. 50 minutes isn't really enough to do anything, so let's just go home. Come back tomorrow. Because the lady said she would get a hold of me tomorrow, right? After I gave her the fake money. So maybe we do have to come back tomorrow. Is there a way I can just... Can't fast travel to this place. Okay, gotta remember that I can fast travel, though. Make everyone's life easier. Ah, oh, what a beautiful rainy day here in some Russian town. I don't think they ever really tell you the name of the town. Okay, first things first, let's pay our bills really quick before we happen to forget. Okay, this is due in five days, this is due in four days, this is due in two days. So why don't we go ahead and pay you. Okay. I've only got 200, so I can't pay anything else. See who's here. Hello? Someone is taking a piss over there. Now he's gone. Hello, can I help you? Stranger, let me introduce myself. I'm Simon Valois, the manager of this wonderful building. Evan Redgrave, I'm very pleased to meet you indeed. How are you settling in? Is everything okay? Maybe you need some help. Everything's fine, although I wish the bills would come less often. Tell me about it. If it were up to me, I wouldn't take the money from my residence at all, but you know, for... Yeah, I was just joking, Simon. Ha ha ha, I love people with such fine sense of humor. I'm sure we'll all get along just great. My, wife's, my wife, Margaret, makes wonderful cowtail aspic. Come visit us sometime. It's my treat. Okay, I'll come by sometime. I'm sorry, Simon, but I'm pretty tired after work, and I could do some rest. Was there something else you wanted me to ask? Oh, forgive me, this old fool. I'm only here to take a minute of your time. It's embarrassing to talk about money, but all the tenants here have to donate the overhaul fund as soon as possible. I'm sure on cash. Just give me as much as you can, but the money is indeed it needed urgently. Yes, of course. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Sorry for bothering you. That's all the best. Have a nice day. Same to you, Simon. God, money's such a bitch. But I did awesome. I had a perfect day at work. So, money. Uh, earned naive. I don't care about the donation fund. I know he took money from me. Let's read that book. We have two hours and 50 minutes. Let's read that book. Uh, new skill yet. Read. Read. Okay. Yeah, let's go to bed. Five nine eighty five. Do 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 do. Hello, guard man. I wonder if we'll actually see line one hundred one moving forward then. That'd be interesting. Can I fast forward from here? Yes, I can. All right. I said I wanted to know if we could see this line moving, so. Oh, what do you guys have to say? You guys always have something to say. Never walk around the office empty-handed. Take a folder with you some papers. It doesn't matter what. Why? To find anyone who doesn't have papers. I never have papers. But has line 101 got an open window now? No. Still not. Nope. Still a big old nope. Fantastic. Anyway. Find out what happened. Did your bouquet impress Emma? I guess. Well, did she like the flowers? I think I screwed up. But did you give her them to her? Yes, I put them on her desk in the morning as planned. So what? She laughed. Laughed or smiled? Well, smile, but what difference does it make? It's all over. Peter, you're a unique person. If she smiled, it means she likes you now. Ask her out. Are you crazy? Offer help. Let me find something to boost your confidence. Like what? I don't know yet. Good advice, ask for oncology with me, maybe help lower inhibitions. What did you bring me? Nothing so far. Oh, okay. I thought I already had it on my person. You seem to be interesting. Uh, foreign currency is not going to help me here. I thought she hated poppies. What happened? Emma, what do you think about Peter Dong? Someone sent me flowers recently. I'm sure it's him. I pity those weren't my favorite flowers. Bye. Lickdush. Hey, 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 hey. Nope, nope. You get right on back here, buddy. 
You get right on back here, Legrand. Yeah, knock, 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 motherfucker. What do you want? Uh, talk about my general shit. Okay. Thought I'd get some information, but apparently not. Okay. Um. What other colleagues do I have left to ask? Oh, maybe you. Talk about family. Do you have any kids, Serena? Why? You want to be a dad? Oh, no thanks. You're the one I'm God. Just kidding about how you managed to do so much. What do you want to know? How many kids do you have? Where's your husband? Oh my god, dead from food poisoning. Are your parents alive? After our youngest was born, they invited us to the city where they live. They have been huge room in a social housing there. So there are five of us, but at least there's always someone to change TV when you need it. IB, my youngest was born sick, needs meds, and I'm no nurse. That's all I know how to bake pies. What do you mean? Can't you tell how practical base basking in care? Wait. I think I got some information on her now that I can turn in, right? Because that's the most I've ever got. Oh yeah, he's dead. That's sad. No, I've already got information on her. Where's the pie lady? Serena. When it rains, it pours. Family issues. I got something out of her. Not enough to turn in right now, but that's good. Wasn't worth the 200 points I spent on her, though. Let's go, uh... Let's go wait in line for an hour and talk to the boss man real quick. Yeah, don't be so rude. I just walked through the door, damn it. Last time she said something, I went to go walk up to the door. Didn't they teach you to knock? Yeah, I gotta knock, not just break in like I did last time. Oops. Doop, doop, doop. Permission to report in, Comrade Ferguson. I've completed your mission. Excellent. Now, this is the wise guy who doesn't give me every last penny. He's toast. It's a woman. Gender is no bearing on professional character in Redgrave. You've shown me that you're not a complete imbecile like the rest of them. Your next job is to go to the office, collect money, and bring it back to me. What money? How slow can you be? Government money, Redgrave. Your money of moronic visitors. Give it to your idiotic co workers for the good of the great community. Your colleagues already know how much they owe me, and if they forget, Rakovich will remind them. Agree? Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't just click on it. I gotta actually walk out. Hello, Magda. Hello, Magda. Magda, Comrade Ferguson has ordered me to collect contributions from my colleagues. Contributions or contributions? To whom? I don't contribute to anything or anyone. This is a blatant lie and slander. Well, contributions to the state on his behalf. Ah, you mean the bribe. Say it straight and stop mumbling. You need to bring him a amount that's going to look like sitting in the safe. Small change won't do. 1,000 will be fine. Well, I need about 900 more, and I'm not giving him any of my own fucking money, so uh, that's how that's going to go down. What do you want? As about money. Hi, Marco. Ferguson told me to collect money. Ah, oh, you're an errand boy now. It's not my place to argue with the boss. There's no arguing with that bad bastard. So what about the money? I don't have any money. We're in a recession. The marketing is stagnant. Don't you know what they're tearing? Hmm. Hi, Emma. Comrade Ferguson asked me to remind you that you owe him something. I can take care of it. Take it to him. We're not so close that I trust you to take anything from Comrade Ferguson. He's not letting me. I have quite a few items for sale. No money, no honey. I sure don't quite use it. Are you not considered a... employee? Dong, you'll give money. Peter, the boss says you're a little behind on something. The report, I'm almost finished, is just no, Peter. Not the report, but it's also made of my paper, but smaller size with numbers and portions of leader. Right. Oh, you mean bribes? It's all, it's all here, down to the last part. Good job. What about you, Magna? Or not Magna, Serena, do you bribe? Okay. 
I need about 400 more. Damn it, Peter. Why do you not have more money? Dude, I don't have the ability to do this right now. Son of a bitch. All right. Any emails? Nope. Let's go. I want to make a statement. My mother-in-law steals cotton candy from work and takes it home. Not only were we sharing our home with a criminal, but the cotton candy isn't even that sweet. We get itchy every time we eat it. Her name and place of work? Claudia Binman. She works at the thermal insulation factory. Oh my god. Okay, it's a denunction of labor. Print. No, wrong place. Shit. That have been not of neighbor. Hi, my neighbor Alexandria Timofiv has built a time machine in his apartment. Time machines aren't real. Oh yeah? Next time you tell the pterodactyl in my kitchen isn't real either. It ate my sausage. Okay. Oh, quarter. Oh, science. Shit! I didn't think science for pterodactyl. I thought it'd be illegal. <laughs> Greetings, I demand that you find a person who spat in my dish. I understand how unpleasant that must be, but we have more serious issues to deal with. My issue is more serious than yours. Someone spat in my B3 dish and undid 10 years of my hard work. This is a complaint for science and technology. Thank you. I needed that money. I gotta give it to my boss. Awesome. We have the pair program for City Day. Who should pass it on to? A request. Uh, culture and sports. Oh, it was information. I thought you said I need to get information on, not pass information on. Son of a bitch. Hi, can you help me? Sure, that's why I'm here. If you have a request, a complaint, I would like to inform us of something. I'll uh, redirect your query. Yeah, they'll take action in you. I'll report the results to my supervisor. What did he say? We'll transfer the complaints to the department. And then, well, wait a moment. What exactly is your issue? My issue is that I want to file a complaint against all of you parasites. You're a bunch of useless bureaucrats shuffling paper around. Incapable of solving even the most min minuscule problem. What problem? Doesn't matter. I'm going to complain about the people who... Okay. Information. An order. I said information. On labor. Don't even care. The coach of the tourney's handball team refuses to give reserve players a chance to play in the matches. He says he won't risk losing the game by letting armless guys on the court. But you know what? I think a few missing fingers here and there is no reason for a bad sport. But how about it? The coach's name? Herman Montoya. He wants to see him prosecuted. Denunction of sports and culture. There you are. Thank you. 300 more gold to go. I was supposed to attend a mathematics symposium, but the institute sent me some upstart junior researcher instead. All I did was prove that some theorem. I have 30 years of scientific experience. I demand the administration of the institute be punished for the disrespectful at attitude towards valuable employees such as myself. So complaint for scientific and technology print. Not the right office, but it was all science-y. Must have been labor. Lame. I have a complete register for the newborns in our district. Who should I hand it over to? Information on social care. Yeah. I'm halfway to being promoted if I don't spend this on stupid shit trying to get information on the latest make pies. I'm the conductor of an orchestra. I need a trumpet player. What happened to your old ones? One of them went to war, other drinks every day. As a result, the third simply vanished. If you don't give me a trumpeter as a concert, it burns the We're going to have as long as they have decent lungs. So, a request for labor. Oh, sports and blah, blah, blah. Got you. My group has researched the effect of Brahmin on soldiers' fighting ability when it added to the fruit juice. Whom can I pass through? Information on science and technology. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Print. That's what I wasn't paying attention to. I was only going for the ones that were like not read it out. That means they're got people there. I've got 800. All right, let's go for another two hours. Hello, sir. Command has ordered me as of midday on August 31st, all citizens detained by the police who are still awaiting further investigation be sentenced to correctional labor. 
I've been instructed to provide the Ministry of Labor with per performance and loss report. Information, labor. Today is Thursday. Print. Thank you for telling me exactly what you needed. I love it. I'm a member of the Writers Guild. I'm working on a detective story at the moment. I'd like access to the crime archives of the past 10 years. Request. Order. Yeah! Awesome, I need 100 more gold to please my boss. Fuck. Do I have to do that today? Can I use this money to pay my bills? Everyone knows that our country is the best in the world. Our national track and field team was sent to the world championship to remind the other countries of this fact. Those useless parasites didn't win a thing. Even worse, not all of them came back. I suggest, no, I demand that they be sent to the gold mine, seeing that they obviously can't get any in competition. A complaint of culture and sports on a Thursday. 50 more gold. And I'm on my fifth one. Fourth out of five. Hello, I want to inform you that the entomologist Salzburg has discovered a new species of butterfly. He named it Francisco Podoreskin, which means Franska the Beauty. So what's the problem? The problem is that the new biological species naming guide clearly outlines the procedure for naming a new species, and Francisco is the name of Salzburg's daughter, who starved to death a few years ago. If everybody starts naming butterflies however they please, where will it end? I believe Salzburg should be prosecuted for violating proper per the butterfly should be renamed. Uh, identification... On science and technology, Thursday. Back, Thursday. Print. All right, be a little douche canoe, I guess. Shit, you dick. All right, me and the kids were allocated an apartment on Prosperity Street, but when we got there, it was already occupied. They won't let us in. I'm a decorated blood donor. My blood flows through the veins of thousands of our soldiers. And what am I supposed to do now? Keep my kids under my skirt or something? Sort this out. Uh, a request for or social care. A complaint on social care. Thursday. French. Next. Any emails? Nope. We'll back out. Uh, well, we got money to give to our boss now. So that's awesome. Damn, got some bug. Yeah, I'll wait in line. Can I talk to you? No. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Hello? Where's that? Hello? Uh, Carmen Ferguson had an operation secret visitor and we caught the thief who caught one rat and sent a message to the others. Ask about this floor. Please tell me about this floor. I have nothing else to do. How does first floor manage to meet all the quota after all? The first floor is the front I didn't mean to click anything. We'll prove that they can't manage without me. Manage what? None of your business. About your task, boss. Did you get lost in the bathroom or something? Great, I do love the round numbers. Give it here and let's talk. You think the boss have an easy red grave? Not at all. That's some small-minded thinking. Don't look at me like that. We're just people like you, better than you, of course, but like you. And you know, everyone needs to have a bit of fun sometimes. Nothing fancy. Some working, some hot dogs, some strong moonshine you can't get your hands on. I've got enough fancy booze, enough to get the whole ministry good and merry, but I could do with some, something simpler, something more salt to the earth. Why are you just sitting there looking at a schoolgirl? Admiring the leader. Is there something you're not understanding? Your boss wants you to have a good time. Make it happen. Understood, comrade Ferguson, as you wish. Damn straight. Sisting around and get on my sight. Alright, now I gotta throw the motherfucker a party. I gave you a, th a fucking G, bro. I gave you a grand. Now you're like, go a party for me. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> okay, but I've almost, I'm just 400 short of being able to uh, get a promotion. 
I need the, that biometric scanner, though. How am I supposed to play on this dude's fear? How am I supposed to help him? <sighs> I'm so confused. Is he in his office? He's not in his office. Can I talk to him? Where's he at? Usually when he's not in his office, he's over here with Mag uh, the pie lady. Just the other day, I was working responsibly, as always, when I accepted an application from one, this one citizen. He just thrust a bottle of liquor through the window as a thank you and left. Uh, if I don't drink, Mom doesn't allow it. Should I prepare, perhaps go to Comrade Ferguson? He'll find a way. Thanks for helping me out, Evan. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. Are you out of your mind? The smell alone is enough to drive Emma away. Don't you want anything better? I don't need... I don't need to think. I can't even see me for number five. Oh, I need to think. Okay, so it's not gonna be the liquor. Hmm. Do you have anything to help with how to this? So for 500 gold, I could have got a thousand fake currency or something like that. It's whatever. All right, maybe I can talk to people again. Mo. And Marco. Let's talk to Marco really quick. What do you want? Uh, Create him to take... Okay, for 2,000 I can just get the safe. I don't have to be a complete dick to dong. I don't have to be a dick to dong, guys. I can just... General chat. Ask about the boss. Any trouble with the ministry? Any enemies at work? Would be punished for anything? Go back. Talk about Peter Dong. Ask about the ministry. Why about feelings? First, get out of my head. So what? You're married. How could I know who got married to meet you? One kiss, private honest, really? I give you one word, one kiss. Wow, that's so romantic. Just like what people show when Kurt dumps Stephanie in for Sophia. All right, let's do it. And if I like it, then what? The wipe the spud grin off your face. I'll be waiting for you there. Fantastic. Cheated on my wife. There, that's there. Oh, what you need. If you took your father longer to fall out a window, Evan. What happened, General Chat? It was 500 just to give her a kiss? Easy girl. All right. Achievement. I don't really care about achievements in this game, though, honestly. Uh, let's ring in what we know. That's the best thing we can do with our time, then we'll head home. It brought me up a little bit. Definitely not worth the 500 I spent on that one chick, though. But work is definitely the fastest way for me to level that up, so. That's what I will do. Magna, I feel like I didn't give enough. Why do I want to keep calling her Magna? She's not Magna. I'm just going to call her Pie Lady. I'm going to quit trying to get her name. Vending Machine. What can we do about this vending machine? Buy snacks for Ferguson. I don't have enough money. Leave feedback on the list. Leave, leave positive. Alright, I left positive feedback on it. Hopefully that works. So I need 50 gold to buy fucking food for my boss. I just gave him a thousand, but he's not happy. I gotta spend another hundred. Won't be able to do that though. Here, I've got bills to pay when I get home. Da -da 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 -da. I can teleport to the next room. I don't need to run there. All right, so this is as far as I can teleport. The rest I do have to walk, because it doesn't just let you skip this in case you have bullcrap on you that's not supposed to be there. Uh, you know what? Let's search the lost and found. Nothing. All right. Oh, Please report the routine medical testing. What employee must provide samples upon request? Please don't waste all my time. I only have like five minutes. Are we good. You mind if I stay here a little bit? Uh, okay. I don't know how I feel about what just happened. I don't I don't know what that means. But oh, we're outside. Yeah, we're outside. Alright. Pardon me. Excuse me. Coming through. Don't mind me. Heading home. The phone. Hello. 
Auto inform of the service of the monitoring of the activities of the ministry employees. We'd like to inform you that the court the course of an official investigation, video surveillance, equipment recording of sexual relations between Evan Redgrave and ministry employees, Emma Hazard. Hey, is there anyone there? Also, as a result of intercourse, bacteriological diagnosis control has registered the infection of Evan Redgrave with sexually transmitted disease. What? You have been issued a fine, a bill of treatment, and a hail all head leader. I now have an STD. What? I thought I gave her a kiss. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save the game here. <laughs> Apparently, now I've got an STD. <laughs> But I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon next to it. Link in the description below to my Twitter page. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.